Hi, welcome to my channel. This is me, Sharanya Sajid. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the notification so that you will come to know whenever I am putting new videos. Today I am going to discuss about Preach Presentation. So what is Preach Presentation? It is a presentation in which the fetus is in the longitudinal life, the podalic pole present at the pelvic pin. Normally, the head of the fetus is facing to the pelvic beam. Here, what's happening is the buttex of the leg is facing in the pelvic beam. That's known as breast presentation. Next is the incidence of breast. So, what do you mean by incidence? This is the occurrence of number of cases. Here, 25% is occurring at 28 weeks. 5% at 34 weeks and 3% at term. Next is the type of bleach. Mainly, this bleach presentations are categorized into two categories. First one is complete bleach, and the second one is the incomplete bleach. This incomplete bleach is again divided into Frank bridge, footling bridge, and kneeling bridge. So it's again divided into three: Frank bridge, footling bridge, and kneeling bridge. Now we will deal with all these in detail. First is the complete bridge presentation. So what's happening in complete bridge presentation? Here, flex at the hip and knee means the flexion is occurring in the hip and knee of the fetus and the presenting parts are two buttocks, external genitalia and two feet. It's very common in multiparate. So if the presenting part is two buttocks, external genitalia and two feet, it's a complete bridge presentation. Next is the incomplete bridge presentation. Usually this is occurring due to the changes in degree of extension of thigh or leg at podalic pole. That's the reason for incomplete bridge presentation. Mainly, this incomplete bridge presentation are divided into three. As we explained before, they are frank bridge, footling bridge, and kneeling bridge. So in this three varieties, First is the flank bridge. So what is flank bridge presentation? Here the flexion is occurring at hip and extension is occurring in the knees. So here the knees are extended and hips are flexed. And the presenting parts are two buttocks and external genitalia. And it's very common in primary gravita. So that's about flank bridge. Next is the footling bridge. Here Thighs and legs are partly extended, so it's not completely extended, but thigh and leg are partly extended, and the presenting part is leg. So foot, ling, bridge, foot, leg. So presenting part here is the leg. That is a foot, ling, bridge presentation. Next, we are moving on to the third category, that is the kneeling bridge presentation. So what's happening here is extended thigh and flexed knees are the reason here. So here thighs are extended and knees are flexed and presenting part is knee. From name itself presenting part is knee. That's all about three categories of incomplete bridge presentation. So here I have shown the pictures of types of breeze so you can pause this video and look at those pictures by categories next we are going to discuss about the clinical varieties or clinical type so clinically this bridge is divided into two categories that is uncomplicated bridge and the complicated bridge if we consider clinical version it has only two categories that's a uncomplicated and complicated 
once we are discussing about uncomplicated it is defined as one there is no other associate obstetric complications as a part from as, as sorry, apart from breach or prematurity being excluded that means if there is no more complication in the obstetric side then we can say that the uncomplicated breach next is the another category that's a complicated breach name itself you know there will be complication so when the presentation is associated with conditions which adversely influence the prognosis such as prematurity twin contracted pelvis placenta previa and so on if there is complication in the clinical side then we will consider that in the category of complicated breach so that's all about clinical type next is the etiology or causes of this breach presentation first is prematurity then factors which preventing spontaneous version such as twins congenital anomalies short cord intrauterine death etc then favorable adaptation like placenta previa if placenta previa is there and the baby is rotating in the head position it's a complication so then contractor pelvis and hydrocephalus next is the anti-mobility and fetal abnormality next we are going to discuss about diagnosis sorry i think the visuals are a bit further and i am at the back so diagnosis mainly included per abdominal examination per vaginal examination or sonography we know by doing externally palpitation by abdomen or doing the endoscopy through the vagina or the ultrasound next is the management how we can manage so there are three categories of management external cephalic version it's nothing but with the help of ultrasound we are externally trying to rotate the baby and head is coming to the pelvic brain that's the external cephalic version then elective cesarean section so if we know there is no chance of any other management so we will choose for cesarean section another one is trial for vagina delivery if there is no complication we can try for the vagina delivery that's all about management thank you for watching